Hello kids, so previously we have learned how to frame the sentences, the naming part and also the telling part. Today along with some sounds, the overall theme sounds, we are going to identify some words from a lesson. So let us read a lesson. Before that let us see what we are going to read. So we are going to read, write and pronounce. So we are supposed to read them. We are supposed to write them and we are supposed to pronounce them. How? Just by reading. The words with O sound, O E, that gives the O sound, spelt with different oval terms. See, the sound is the C, but it is spelt with different oval terms. So, O, O. So, if we see, To, the word To, O. Use the sound of O, oval sound of O sound. Jo, it also gives a sound of O. Now, if we go for O, A, it also gives the same O sound. Here. So, we are going to identify the sound of O. So, if we go for Bo, Oat, it also gives O sound. Means O, E and O, A, both are giving the same oval sound. O, Ba, O, Ta. Boat. So it is being awesome. C O A T coat. O. O. It is giving us some O. Jo. Ko. To. Bo. And also one more is the O W, which also gives the O L T sound of O. 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 Ro. Ro. R O W row grow so if we add G also it becomes O grow grow row grow so here we are not pronouncing O W but it is giving a sound of O Jo Bo grow so where we observe that the O E O A O W all the oval things means here O W is not a oval but still it gives an oval thick word means it gives a sound of oval. So here we are going to pronounce and spell with different oval teams. These are the teams. O E is a team, O A is a team, and O W is a team of ovals. Where we are getting the oval sound. So the words with O E sound. So O E sound gives O sound. Where we are finding that this O sound we are getting with a different team of ovals. They are O, E, O, O, A, O, O, W, O. So these three teams, the oval teams. So you can see the different oval teams. What are these different oval teams? The different oval teams are O, E, O, O, A, O and also O, W, O. So these are giving the oval theme sound. So basing on them, now let us read and pronounce them from our textbook lesson. And also we want to write them in our volume. Okay kids, so now let us open our textbook. Now children, let us read and pronounce the O sound words from page number 63. Joe and his boat. Where you can see the oval page OA. O E and O W give the same sound. Let us read and pronounce. Joe rose his boat. Joe rose his boat. So we can see Joe is rowing his boat. He rose. See when singular is there, the name, the verb, plural. It follows with plural. The Joe rose. The wind blows and blows the wind so what is the wind doing can you see just by seeing the picture of the trees you can say that the wind is blowing yes the wind wind is a thing so it is a noun the wind blows so here blows followed by the plural verb form the wind blows and blows the boat turns as joe rose the boat turns as Joe rows. So as Joe is rowing the boat because of the wind, the boat is turning. So it turns and turns. Joe hurts his toe. 
जो ओ ओ हर्ट्स हिज टो सो जो वॉट हैपन टू जो कैन यू सी हिज टो हिज लेग्स द फिंगर्स द फिंगर्स वी कॉल दम एज टोज जो हर्ट्स हिज टो कैन यू सी द रेड कलर ऑन हिज टो सीज दट ही वॉज हर्ट ओ नो माई टो सो वॉट इज ही सेंग ओ नो सो वेन ही वॉज हर्ट ही इज टेलिंग अबाउट हिज टो बिकॉज इट इज वेरी पेनफुल he says oh no my toe says jo he drops his oar he drops see it is a pronoun so starting with a pronoun the sentence is starting with a pronoun singular pronoun so drops that is a followed by a plural verb he drops his oar can you see something is there in his hand to row the boat that is called the o o a r o o sound you can see in that o a sound o he can row the boat no more see because the o is not there how come he row the boat without the help of anything so with the help of o normally they row the boat but now the o was dropped so he drops his o so what he what can he do now he can row the boat no more so he cannot row the boat the boat is now slow so we can see the boat oat o a o is now n o w now slow s l o w slow o now now slow so here you can observe that in now it is not giving o sound but it is having a different sound slow the boat is now slow jo is scared so you know what is scared scared means frightened he is frightened now the boat stands still so the boat is not moving so though the wind is blowing the boat is not moving it is standing still still means without any movement if something stays in the same place like that we say still the boat stands still jo tries to move it to and fro so what is the meaning of to and fro to means to forward fro means backward so to and fro so he is trying to move the boat to and fro front and back he can't make it go but though he is trying to make it go he cannot so he can't make it go now jo tries to move it to and fro he can't make it go but wait so someone is saying wait who is that so there is a question mark it is a question starting with wh so it is a question mark and but wait so it is with an exclamatory mark can you see an exclamatory mark after wait wait after there is a exclamatory mark that means with surprise or some extraordinary something they use that sentence so it is with the exclamatory mark it's jo's friend mo oh someone came there can you see some other person in a boat yes he is mo jo's friend mo so you can see even the rhyming words like jo mo these are all the rhyming words now it's jo's friend mo mo has a boat too now mo can you see a boat with mo yes mo came with a boat Mo too has a boat. Now Jo throws a rope to Mo. So when Mo came here to Jo, what did Jo do? Jo throws a rope. So Jo has a rope in his boat. He throws that rope to Mo. Mo ties Jo's boat to his own boat. Now what is Mo doing? Mo when Jo threw the when he threw the rope. R O P E rope means it just like a thread. Thread it is not very thin, very thick, so we can call it as a rope. So it is used to tie to the other boat. So he more ties this boat, Joe's boat, to his own boat by the help of this rope. More pulls Joe's boat to the shore. Now more is able to pull Joe's boat to the shore. Now children, once again you read all the story. Joe rows his boat. The wind blows and blows. The boat turns as Joe rows. 
जो हर्ट्स हिज टो ओ नो माई टो से जो He drops his oar. He can row the boat no more. The boat is now slow. Joe is scared. The boat stands still. Joe tries to move it to and fro. He can't make it go. But wait. Who is that? It's Joe's friend Mo. Mo has a boat too. Joe throws a rope to Mo. Mo ties Joe's boat to his own boat. Mo pulls Joe's boat to the shore. now try to pronounce read and pronounce this now let us move to the volume s3 page number 12 and write so already we read and pronounced now we want to write the words with the oval team words okay now can you see the first question fill in the blanks with o e o a and o o w sound so basing on the picture you are seeing already we learnt so basing on that you want to complete the words seeing the pictures each and every word try to see properly and write accordingly by using o e o a and o w sound words now second one write one word for each of these letter teams o e o a and o w so children try to write your own words by using these three sounds here now third question make sentences with any four words from above means you want to take one word like boat road something whatever you had written there and using them i have a boat we travel by a boat so in this way you want to write your own sentences by using the words you had written above and complete your volume page number 